Hey guys! Hello! My hair, I just brushed it, but it looks frizzy. Does that ever happen to you? You go and you brush your hair and it gets all frizzy. I actually think it looks better when I don't brush it. Who's out there? Who's my natural hair? Ladies, who does it? Okay, so I really wanted to get on here and talk real with you guys once again. Ariana's Real Talk. Um, so, the good and the bad. All right, things that come into your life. The bad stuff usually comes in the way of looking like good stuff, okay? Just like the devil is disguised as a regular person or you've also heard as an angel. Um, so the bad stuff can look real good or feel real good in the moment and end up hitting you in the butt. Okay, the good stuff is usually what you struggle through and seems so bad, but once you get to the other side, it is so worth it. And you don't see it. You don't see it. There's not a label on it. It doesn't say good or bad. You don't know. We're just living, you know, and we have to go through the struggles to realize that there is good. And we have to also go through the good struggles to find out that it is bad. We have lessons in life, okay, and... We have to take that in. We have to appreciate everything we go through. We have to know that it is a lesson in time. So whether it seems so bad right now, if it is not something that is worth anything to you right now, it may be worth the world later. And who knows? You can make a million bucks. You could have a kid. that You say that you're not going to have a kid anymore. But with in, a, in having faith, and being joyful, which I just learned about this Sunday at church, being joyful is completely different than being happy. Happiness is only, the pursuit of happiness is only a moment in time. It's like saying, I want to go party. I feel the urge to go party. Let's go have a good time. Then you go party and you drink too much, get into a fight, break out blackout, go lashing on people that love you, that kind of thing, then it becomes your worst nightmare. But it seemed good. It seems you had such an urge to go have some fun, but then you just destroyed everything, okay? Or, let's say, you seem like you have nothing in your pocket, but someone needs help, you give them a $2, and you're like, now what do I, what do I got? I got nothing. But who is to say that that person will come back and give you 50 bucks because you gave them that $2 and they were able to make something happen with $2. So, you know, it all works in mysterious ways. We are not meant to understand it. This is the, the, the joyful in you, the peace and the comfort that you have in yourself in the Holy Spirit will allow you to get where you're going. Whether you may not have any way to pay your bills, next thing you know, Someone just gave you money because you needed help and you're being joyful in the moment. You're accepting what's going on and you say, I'm going to do the best that I can in this situation. Don't let your urges take over and you're going to get something good out of it. So struggle today is only lasting for so long. So enjoy it, you know, find peace within it. Dance within the rain, and you will find the rainbow at the end. I wanted to talk to you guys. I have been struggling with my body, which was my fault, because I had the urge to have some steak and potatoes and wine and enjoy myself. And every bit of that, even the coffee the next morning, has now triggered a three-day hold on me. I have not been able to do much, I have not had that much energy, have not had the mo the motivation to get things done, and finally today it's starting to come back to me. I have also took some of my oil, which has helped me a lot, especially not being able to have coffee, so that has helped a lot. And I have stuff to do today, um, you know, my son didn't take a nap, but to say that if he would have took a nap, who knows where I would have been after that. There is a reason for everything. So, um, you know, 
just accept anything that comes your way and know that it is going to be better. Don't let your urges take over, okay? Don't let it don't let it take it over. Just find peace within it, pray through it, and know that it's going to be a rainbow on the other side. I love you guys. I hope you are enjoying this beautiful day. And I hope all of you um, loved ones that have people that were either lost their life, gave it all, or is still fighting for our country, I want to really pour my heart out to you guys and keep you in my prayers. So I will be keeping you in mind. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.